Hey everybody, uh, my name is Richard, and um, I'm one of the uh, owners of the CADIP repository, and um, I'm working on hyperparameter tuning. So I had a chance to talk to a few of you today, and uh, actually I'm pretty happy to see that the hyperparameter community is really uh, growing. So uh, first of all, what are we trying to do here? Uh, so hyperparameter optimization is uh, something that can really improve your model performance. But uh, this is something that uh, if you are doing it correctly, and uh, this can be quite a challenge. So um, one of my friends and colleagues, Alexandra, she's in the audience, and uh, she wrote a great uh, blog a few years ago about the uh, common problems in HPR optimization. I include the link here. So um, some of the problems are overfitting, using the wrong metrics, and using uh, too few hyperparameters. And if you're trying to tune stuff yourself and using breast search, you'll find that you run into plenty of problems with uh, you know, the, this resource consumption and inefficiency and so on. So uh, we are introducing CATIP, which is a fully open source and Kubernetes native solution for hyperparameter tuning. It is inspired by Google Vizier. Uh, in fact, a little bit of trivia. So CATIP is an Arabic word for secretary, whereas Vizier is like a word for uh, like a high official. So it's kind of like, it's like a paying tribute to uh, Vizier. Um, but what we really want to highlight is a couple of things. Uh, first of all, CATIP is framework agnostic, and it has uh, support for extensible algorithms. So we want to evolve CATIP into a platform where uh, contributors can add their own uh, frameworks and algorithms easily. And uh, this will in turn improve the ecosystem. And because it is uh, built into Kubeflow, what we are doing is uh, we're defining these common patterns that uh, the distributed training components can follow. For example, the TF operator and PyTorch operator. So by, uh, by integrating with the other Kubeflow components, you have something that fits naturally into the Kubeflow landscape. All right, so you could take your model, you could train it, uh, tune it hyperparameters, and then there you go, you have your model, you can serve it. Uh, so I'm going to blitz through this really quickly because we don't have a ton of time. But uh, today, uh, in Katip, you start with your training model. And, and this is in uh, your own, you can use your own editor for this. Uh, here we have an example of Amy's housing value prediction using XGBoost. Uh, it's just really simple. Uh, you want to define what hyperparameters you want to tune. So in this case, we, uh, we have a number of boost trees in the model and the learning rate. Uh, you want to parameterize as input to your model. And you want to determine uh, what metrics you want to use to evaluate your model. So in this particular case, we're using the mean absolute error. And then you just build that model as a Docker image. Um, so Katib uses uh, custom resources. So which means that you, you create this, uh, this YAML file that describes uh, your feasible ranges, what your metrics are, and uh, you configure what algorithm you want to use. So in this case, we're using Bayesian optimization. And uh, you want to define what your trial templates look like. And, th and this is basically what your, what your Kubernetes paths are going to look like. And then you just uh, run uh, kube control and then apply. And and then after you're done, you get this uh, this graph. Uh, you get the results showing to you. And uh, it's kind of hard to read, but on the left side, so basically we have the hyperparameter ranges, and then on the very right side you have the uh, your objective metric. Right. So you could sort this graph, and you can see that how well your model performs using various combinations of hyperparameters. Uh, you can save your model to database for reuse, or you can uh, export the results to a, a CSV and so on. All right, so that's cut tip today. So what's coming in 2019? Uh, first of all, we want to define the next set of cut tip APIs. Uh, over the last quarter, we've gotten lots of good feedback from the data science community and from uh, others. Uh, our, uh, there's a lot of prior work. Uh, we want to streamline our APIs. Uh, might make it easier to use. Uh, we want to standardize the vocabulary and really enhance the accessibility and the uh, debugging experience. And um, other thing is, uh, as uh, Manasi just uh, mentioned, we're uh, collaborating to uh, integrate with metadata and artifact store. Uh, this will make it easier for you to uh, to store and to share and uh, reproduce models. 
Um, and this next one really, uh, this is something that I, I'm very excited about. We want to integrate with the, the general Kubeflow uh, notebook experience. So for those of you who are data scientists, you, you're like, what, custom resources? And then uh, you're not really <laughs> like Kube cut or what? But you know, for, for, for those of you, that this, this is gonna make you happy because we want to just, uh, uh, all, all the stuff you see before, all the all this stuff, we can uh, simplify all that. So you can run your, take your training model and just use a, a fairing library to say, okay, I wanna start a hybrid programming job and I have all this stuff done automatically, magically. Uh, then we have neural architecture search, which is also very cool. This is done by the Devos team from Cisco, who I'm working with pretty closely. And you know, uh, this is take, really taking Katia to the next level where we're, instead of uh, just tuning uh, fixed parameters and values, we're actually going to define, going, going to try to, to, to tune the, the, uh, the architecture of a neural network, which is pretty cool. All right, so if you're getting excited, then um, how to contribute? So first of all, uh, on GitHub, we have the Katia repo. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, uh, feedback, feature requests, and it's all great. Uh, we have some features that are tagged as uh, help wanted. Um, and actually a great way to contribute is uh, if you have ideas or new algorithms you, know, you want to test out or improvements to the existing ones, that's all great. Um, also on Slack, uh, we have these uh, semi-regular community meetings. Uh, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's ad hoc, but when we do, we announce them on the Katib Slack channel, so feel free to join. And uh, last but not least, I really want to thank um, all these people who have contributed to Katib for the years. So especially, uh, you know, Gosa and uh, Yuji Yoshima who couldn't be here today, and John and George. So, yeah, all right, thank you.